Hello and welcome to Force.com Comcast episode 3, Report URL Parameters. Today's episode we're going to talk about a way in which you can pass uh, parameters to a report dynamically via the uh, report's URL in order to make contextualized reports. So what we're going to do today is show you how you can make a little hyperlink that you can stick onto an account field, uh, for example, that allows you to click through and view a report that is associated to that account. Uh, with this method, you can use multiple parameters, and there's lots of different options. I'm going to show you a very quick and simple overview one. Um, and this tip was shown to me by uh, Alex Sutherland, whose Twitter handle is here, Apex Sutherland, and Christopher Within, um, whose uh, Twitter handle is here. So, first thing we're going to do is switch into our Salesforce org. And you can see here I've created a report called Opportunity Stage Report. And it's for all opportunities of any closed date. And I've added a filter here, which is on the account ID field associated with the uh, account for the opportunity. I've chosen uh, an equals um, uh, condition, and I've just copied in here the ID of the account. Uh, this is just a placeholder one, um, and to get this, all you have to do is open up your account, and the ID is this little string at the end here. Um, it's the 15 or 18 character ID is unique to each Salesforce record. So copy that in just as a placeholder. And when I run the report, you can see here that for gene point, it returns me all of the different opportunities and I've grouped them by stage. It's really nice and simple and I'm summing the amounts and I have a little graph here. So what we're gonna do is go into our account object and we're gonna create a new formula field. And it's going to be of type text. And we're going to call it opportunity status report. And we're going to go next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in something I pre created earlier so I can go through it and explain it with you. So, first thing we're going to do is use the hyperlink function, which you can find out about here. And the hyperlink function. Uh, returns a hyperlink, funnily enough, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to parameterize this um, so that it gives us the information we want and we can click to go through the report. So there's a series of different options here. So the first part is to return uh, the URL that we want to go to. Now, because we're already within Salesforce, we only need to return the end part of the URL. So the first thing we've got here is another ID. That is the ID of the report that we want to return. So you can see we've copied that across from here. And then what we've got is we've got a question mark symbol that indicates in the URL there's going to be some parameters. And the first thing we've got here is PV0 equals. Now that indicates that it's the first parameter that we can use uh, within our kind of filters. If we had two parameters, the first one would be PV0 and the second would be PV1. If we had three, it'd be PV0, PV1, PV2. And it'd be all these parameters that be listed down here in the different report filters. As we've only got one, we're just going to use PV0. I've got an equals sign here, which uh, denotes that it's going to be equal to a particular value. Um, and I've got here, so I've closed the text, and then I've got here the ID, which is just a field insertion, as you would do for a normal formula. Uh, so that ends the first part of the hyperlink. So this gives us the URL section here. I've then got the friendly name. So this is the text that's going to be displayed. And what I've done is, again, I've got a bit of some string text here, opportunity breakdown four, and then I've got another field I've just inserted here, which is the name of the account, and I've got a target here of underscore blank, which just says open it in a new window. So I can check the syntax. That should work. It was tested earlier, and I'm going to treat blank fields as blanks. Hit next. Next again, and you can set up your permissions and use as you want, hit save, and if I refresh the gene point page now, you can see here I've got a new field called opportunity status report, and if we have a look down the bottom here, we can see that the URL down at the very bottom left of the screen, so down there in a second when it comes up, is telling us that it's going to be going to that report, so slash and then the report ID, it's got question mark, PV0, so the first parameter, and it's got the ID of the account. So if I click this link, it then opens up in a new tab for me, 
the report to gene point, which is lovely. I close that down and open up a different account, so S force here. You can see that it changed the changes the link, so it says for S force. And if I click through now, um, it's got it for S force, which doesn't have any opportunities, or none that have any value. And I can also try, say, United Oil and Gas. Uh, which has zero opportunities. Um, so let's just see where we've got one that has some. Uh, so if we go for Burlington Textiles, and you can see here that it's got an opportunity breakdown for Burlington Textiles, Corp of America, and when we click on that link, it takes us to this Burlington Textiles, which just has one opportunity, which is a closed one. It's a really simple way in which you can add, uh, add context to different reports. So you can put those on an account page that someone can click through and see a report view of the data related to their account. And this works for all reports. Um, and there's loads of different parameters and loads of different ways in which you can work with it. Uh, so I'll leave you to investigate and experiment. Um, if you have any feedback regarding this, uh, please follow us on force.comcast to get updates and please provide feedback there. If you have anything you'd like to hear a tip about or have a tip you'd like to share, Again, please tweet at us at force.comcast. Thank you.